I near died in Amsterdam last year, right? I went to Amsterdam with two comedians, right? Mickey Bartlett, Aaron McCann. It was a disaster, right? Yeah. Don't you dare cheer them, right? <laughs> and here's the thing. We casually smoke weed at home if it's free. You know what I mean? And we go to Amsterdam. We're like, it's legal here. You can smoke inside. So as soon as the plane landed, whoosh, straight into town, straight into a coffee shop. That's what they call them over there. You know what I mean? It's where you go to smoke drugs. And it's basically a tuck shop with a drug dealer. <laughs> It just sells loads of sweets and weed at the same time. And we went straight into this shop and I freaked out, right? I thought it was like a real drug deal. I was shitting myself. My hands were sweating and all. I walked up to this fella and there's just a wall of sweets behind him. I was like, hello. <sighs> <sighs> Panicked. I was like, can I have uh, a Fanta Exotic, please? <laughs> and then eventually it was like, and also a marijuana, thank you. <laughs> and here's what happens, you buy it at per gram, so he give us a gram of weed, and if you're a real weed smoker, that's not a lot. But I, I was like, I used to smoke cigarettes, so my body's a temple, and uh, <laughs> temple of doom, and I don't, I don't want to smoke tobacco. So we put all the weed in one joint, and then smoked it like the fucking peelers were coming. <laughs> Even though it's legal and we're inside, we have the fucking joint in our hand, like out there. <laughs> Like your ma's watching, like <sighs> Anyway, I'm walking down the street, right? I was, I'd felt this before, I was like, I'm regular high, I felt this. And I'm walking along and something happened, it just went into like third gear high. And I was like, hold on a wee second here. The only way I can describe it is, I was walking normally and then all of a sudden, I was up to my fucking nipples in honey. <laughs> I was like walking along, normal pace like this and then just drink Fanta Exotic. <laughs> anyway, I fucking panicked and it was like, listen, I need to eat. We'd already eaten four times in Amsterdam. And I was like, I managed to go and buy this bit of pizza, like a big giant slice of pizza. And I kept it together enough to pay for this. I was like, okay, here we are. Paid for the pizza, turned around, looked at the table. It was 14 miles away. Start <laughs> trying to get back to this fucking table. <laughs> and I got down. I got down to the table, kept it together, sat at the table, right? I was like, here we go, I'll eat some pizza. Lifted it up, all of a sudden it went into fourth gear high. All of a sudden the bit of pizza weighed 120 kilos. <laughs> Had a fucking clean and jerk it off the table like that. <laughs> trying to get it in my mouth. And here's the thing, I was fucking out of my mind. So I was on a three second memory loop. I was like, are we in Amsterdam? I'm starving. Who owns this pizza? Oh my God, are we in Amsterdam? Where are we? Do you own this pizza? I'm starving, did I tell you? And I would bite the pizza and I couldn't feel my face or my throat or my hands. And I'm still on the three second memory loop. So I'm like, this is delicious pizza. Am I in Amsterdam? What's in my mouth? Oh my God. Or I would half swallow it and forget where it was. Like, it's out of my throat. Oh my God. <laughs> Just choking the pizza down like a seagull. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> Worst bit was. <laughs> Worst bit was. I got home and I was telling that story and my and Aaron goes like this. Here's the weird part. We were in McDonald's. Nobody knew where you got that fucking pizza from. 